My name is Christopher Zimmerman, I am Music Director of the Fairfax Symphony Orchestra and I would like to welcome you to our upcoming concert on February the 2nd at George Mason University Performing Arts Centre. For this concert and for the first time in decades, the orchestra and I will focus on two towering contemporaneous musical figures, the German composers Felix Mendelssohn and Robert Schumann. We start with the Mendelssohn Overture, or more accurately, musical tone poem called The Hebrides, or Fingal's Cave. Inspired by a visit he made in 1830 to these barren and windswept islands off the northwest coast of Scotland. The musical atmosphere is so exquisite in its detail that not only do you hear the all-engulfing water, but you can almost see the clear northern light and hear the cries of wildlife of this austere region. The second piece we're performing is his very, very famous, very, very beautiful violin concerto, which is going to be played by Chi Yun, who's a great violinist we've had in the past. I like to say that the only thing really which is comparable to her amazing mesmeric stage presence and charm is actually the quality of her playing and her musicianship. Audiences love her for good reason. In the second half of the program, we will be playing Schumann's Second Symphony. Schumann's music came from a much more sort of tormented place, or tortured place even, than Mendelssohn. He would be, in today's terms, regarded as a manic depressive. He wrote only in his manic phases, which may account for the fact that he wrote so much music. The piece we're performing is extremely beautiful extremely honest in its feelings, which is part of what great romantic music is, of course. The first movement of this piece is moody, disruptive, combative, even. The second movement is very fast, very capricious, with very demanding virtuosic quicksilver writing for the strings, particularly the violins. The third movement is kind of the emotional center of the piece, intense, beautiful melodies, uh, kind of with a longing, yearning quality to it. And the final movement alternates between breathlessly fast, exhilarating music and serene, slow music as though the composer is desperately trying to take a breath. The music is special and beautiful because in a way it is so naked and honest in what it's trying to portray. I know you will enjoy the music by these beautiful, uh, early romantic, great German composers.